What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about the Brakenetic brake rotors and I'm going to give you a little follow-up on the, uh, you know, the performance, the, the aesthetics of them, how they've been doing the past little over four months and uh, a little over 2,000 miles on my car. So let's get this started. I'm going to switch the camera over and we're going to take a look on uh, what they look like. Okay, so here is what these rotors are looking like right now. As you can tell, there is a lot of rust present and uh, that does not look very good if you ask me. All over the rotor, I've not just washed my car, so it's not, you know, the, the post wash kind of rust look that you'll get on your rotors. Here is a stock rotor that I still have. Um, I've had this one on my car for about 10,000 miles at least because these are the ones that I bought my car with until I switched them out. But you can tell that there's you know hardly any rust on these or nothing that you can tell um, very well compared to how these look. I mean, that does not, that's not look very good between the two. So this is one of my main gripes with these so far because it's supposed to have this E coating, which I'll talk about in a little bit, that is supposed to prevent rust, but uh, yeah, it's not really working on uh, on this pair. And this is, this is the same on both sides of my car. I wanted to add one more view of what these brake netted rotors look like with a wheel on. You can see the rust on the inside and outside from standing on the side of the car here. And it's pretty sad compared to uh, the rear rotors. I'll go over there, but these have been on, like I said, a little over four months and 2,000 miles. These rears have been on for at least three years and 23,000 miles. I bought these with the car. I have not changed them. And uh, there's almost no signs of rusting, kind of like the fronts are doing already. So it's kind of sad that those brake medics aren't um, resisting rust as well as these ones are. But I just show you the difference between the two. That's what it is. So yeah, that's kind of the main gripe that I have with these brake netic rotors, especially because on their website, I'm on the uh, website right now, and I'm going to read to you what this e coating is supposed to be about. This is on their brake netic premium performance RS series brake rotors, which these are, and um, it says here. Electro coating finish that provides long lasting corrosion protection around the hub and veins between the double ground discs. So maybe they have a different idea of what long lasting is because four months and 2000 miles is not very long lasting to me. Um, if you remember from my photo from when I did uh, first put these on, I drove maybe a hundred, 200 miles and I took my wheel off because I was checking something uh, actually, to make the video for this, and you, you already saw that this was kind of forming right here. Now, there is the same thing on the uh, on the stock rotor, but it doesn't look as, uh, you know, as rusty as these do. So, um, that's kind of a shame. I thought that they, these would be, you know, last a little bit longer um, as far as, you know, trying to deter rust, but apparently not. So, moving on to performance. These have actually performed as well as the stock rotors. I, you know, if you put me in the car and told me drive while putting these on, I probably would not notice any difference between these and the stock rotors. And I kind of expected that because, uh, you know, they're the same, uh, they're pretty much just, you know, the same as a stock rotor, except they have slots instead of uh, drilled holes in them. And somebody uh, that I know that does have these, he actually weighed these against the stock rotors, and I guess they are a half pound lighter, but uh, you know, I don't feel that uh, in any of my driving. But they do, uh, they've been, hold been holding up uh, uh, pretty well on track days, um, no real difference. They have no signs of cracking, which is to be expected since they have slots instead of uh, holes. Um, during daily driving, they you know co feel completely normal uh, using the same pads that I've used with the uh, with the, uh, the OEM rotors, so pretty much exactly OEM feel. Um, if you are looking to buy a set of rotors because you want to track your car, 
you know, it, um, uh, unless you care about the aesthetics, I would say go for these. I don't think there's very many options for the Lexus ISF. I know there was a couple of us looking for a blank or a slotted rotor. Um, there are the, I, th I think Project Mew has some, there's the two piece rotor sets, but these, they're a lot more expensive than these were. These were, I think 140 bucks a piece, whereas a stock rotor is about a hundred dollars a piece or so. Um, and then the other ones were like maybe for the pair 600 and then a thousand dollars for like those two piece rotors. So you, you can get up there in rotors and, and pay a lot of money, but, um, but you know, performance wise, just as good as stock it, but if you are looking to begin tracking your car and you have um, you know your stock rotors definitely go use those because they're more than uh, capable they would they will begin to crack if you drive hard but and heat them up right uh, you know throughout the day but it took me five track days to be able to um, get them to crack beyond their their uh, their limits and needing a change so if you are starting to track your car then you know stick with your stock rotors um, if you are, you know, starting to, uh, uh, you know, you need a new set, then um, you can definitely try these. But I just wanted to give everybody kind of a, a heads up about what's kind of going on with these, how they've lasted, and how they perform. So performance-wise, good. Aesthetic-wise, there is um, some room to be desired uh, on, on those. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please uh, subscribe and like to my channel. And I'll add on a couple more videos on the end here for you to watch in case you want to. So thanks again. And we will give you uh, more videos as I make them. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you.